Hey everyone, in this lecture we're going to go through epidemiology and what that means to a community health nurse. Welcome to CASRN, where I teach you about all things nursing. We'll be going over a quick review of vocabulary, the epidemiological triad, awareness and prevention, and then what this means for you. Epidemiology is the study of disease, and that's a study of disease specific to a population, and then it's tracked the when, where, what, and why of the disease process, and then we work to control and prevent the spread in the population. So to make this really easy and short, we can just say it's a study of disease, but we are specifically going to look inside the populations, figure out what is going on, how it is spread, where it's going, what it's doing, and then we're going to come up with programs to be able to stop it or to prevent it in the community. There's some specific vocabulary words that are used inside epidemiology. And I wanna make sure that we can clarify those for everybody that needs to be looking at, at epidemiological research so that they can clearly look through those reports and understand what the words mean. And then you can simplify these words and explain them to your patients or to people in the community that need to know. First off, we've got the word incidence. This is the number of new cases. So this is, new people that are showing up and testing positive for something. Then we've got prevalence, which is the number of existing cases. So depending on how long a person has this illness, so for, for a good example that we've seen recently is COVID, say somebody is positive for 10 days, then, but during that 10 days, we have new cases that are continually rising, then those are going to be added together. So we've got these new cases, and then the existing cases are going to build on top of each other. Morbidity means having a disease. So if you know, if you've heard the phrase comorbidity, it's having multiple diseases because they're companions or they're comorbid. So this would be like having diabetes and heart disease and obesity. So morbidity is just having the disease. You can have one or you can have multiple, which is then where the comorbidity comes in. And then mortality is death. It's really easy to get these two confused. So just remember that we're all mortal and eventually we will die. That's how I can remember these two different words. Then epidemic is locally spreading. So if you go back to your medical terminology and you look at the Latin and Greek base here, we've got epi, which means upon. So this is upon a, a a geographic area or a specific location, and it's locally spread. And then we've got pandemic. So pan means wide or more, and then we're looking at worldwide spreading. So COVID was originally an epidemic in China, and then it spread to become a pandemic worldwide. And then we've got the next word, which is endemic. So endo means within, and this is something that's permanent within a population. So this is something that's going to always be. So to clarify a little bit between epidemic, pandemic, and endemic, an epidemic can also refer to a disease state like heart disease or obesity, but pandemic only is in reference to disease. So you might see those two words used interchangeably, but just remember that you understand the difference between that, between local, worldwide, and then endemic is when something just kind of exists. So right now, as we're looking at COVID-19 stabilizing, it's going to become part of the normal fluctuations of disease. And so it has become something that we would call endemic in that there's not as many new incidences, right? We've got the new cases, so we don't have as much incidence and it's kind of just becoming more prevalent and staying kind of the same, so it's more endemic rather than just rapidly spreading through the, through the world, which is what we've seen for the last few years. So these are really big words that we wouldn't want to use when talking to the public. So a good rule of thumb is to simplify your language as though you were talking to a fifth grader, and then you're more likely to get your message across appropriately. 
Now we've got the epidemiological triad. So this, there, there are three things that are affected by disease. We've got our environment, which is where the disease can grow best. Then we've got the agent that causes the disease. So this is going to be our microorganism. And then we've got the host, which is who can carry the disease. So the host can be human or animal, and they don't always have to show symptoms. They can also be a carrier. Though they, and, but even though they don't show any symptoms, they can pass the micro, microorganism off to another susceptible host. So this is where the chain of infection also comes into play. And I talk more about that in my communicable disease video. So check that one out if you haven't already done so. Then the microorganism is going to be anything that causes disease. This can be a bacteria, a fungus, or a virus. And then the environment is just wherever it's going to grow most easily. So our role as a community health nurse or a public health nurse is to create education and awareness. We want to talk about behavioral risks for these diseases and environmental risks for these diseases. So for example, a behavioral risk that we've seen recently with COVID has been washing hands and keeping social distancing and wearing masks. And then we've got environmental risks, which are what's going to happen, where, where the disease can grow best. Then we've got prevention, which is making those behavior changes. So we want to encourage people to do things that are going to prevent. So if we're talking about diabetes. We want to look at having a healthy diet and education in regards of that. Then we're also going to screen people so that they can know that they have diabetes so that they can be aware of that and start to make some behavior changes. We might go out to health fairs so that we can educate there. And then we're going to give written information could be on social media, brochures, billboards, news releases, etc. So quick review, we've got lots of different vocabulary. Just remember your Latin and Greek base words when you're thinking about those. Don't get too confused. We've got our epidemiological triad that talks about how disease is spread. And then we need our job as a community health nurse is to go to create awareness and prevention in order to help the entire community become healthy and safe. Thanks for tuning in. Please help me grow my channel by clicking subscribe and follow below. 